blessed day our dear televiewers and subscribers of Lepet Hour Teleturoan. I am your Sir Randolph N. Cruz, your teacher presenter for today's episode. Today, we will tackle about the properties of ionic and covalent compounds. Hence, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to be able to first identify what are ionic compounds and the covalent molecular compounds. Second, distinguish the properties of ionic and covalent molecular compounds. Third, explain why ionic and covalent molecular compounds possess these physical properties. Let us deal first on the ionic compounds. Ionic compounds are formed between a metal and a non-metal. The chemical combination between the two types of elements results in the formation of ionic bonds between the atoms. Ionic bonds are the electrostatic force of attraction that holds cations, which are positively charged atoms, and anions, which are negatively charged atoms, together. Sodium chloride or table salt is an example of an ionic compound. It is the combination of sodium, a metal, and chlorine, which is a nonmetal. Sodium becomes a cation and a positive as it loses an electron and transfers to the chlorine atom. Chlorine gaining the electron becomes an anion or Cl negative, and eventually an ionic bond is formed holding these ions together. This figure shows the ionic bonding between sodium and chlorine. Now, what are the most common ionic compounds that is used on our daily lives? Here are some of those. Potassium iodide is used as iodized salt for your thyroid health. Sodium fluoride, an ingredient in toothpaste that helps prevent cavities and tooth decay. Sodium bicarbonate, used in baking and as an antacid to reduce stomach acid, treats indigestion, and upset stomach. Sodium hydroxide, used as a cleaning agent, it is the component of soap and detergents. Barium chloride, used in making fireworks, releasing the green-colored explosions. The covalent molecular compounds. Covalent molecular compounds, or simply covalent compounds, are substances that are formed from the chemical combination of two or more nonmetallic elements. It could be between a nonmetal and another nonmetal or a metalloid and a non-metal. Table sugar or sucrose, C12, H22, O11, is an example of a covalent molecular compound. It is a combination of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. In a covalent compound, atoms of the different elements are held together in molecules by covalent bonds, unlike ionic bonds in which electrons completely transfer from one atom to another. Covalent bonds share their valence electrons. This figure shows the sharing of electrons between hydrogen and oxygen atoms to form the water molecule. The sharing of electrons results in a covalent bond between atoms. Here are some covalent molecular compounds. Methane, used mainly as fuel to make heat and light. Ammonia, used as a refrigerant gas for purification of water supplies and in the manufacture of plastics, explosives, textiles, pesticides, dyes, and other chemicals. Ozone, it protects life on Earth from the harmful UV rays of the sun. Carbon dioxide is an essential gas for plant and animal processes like photosynthesis and respiration. Water, essential to life processes, as our body needs water for all cells, tissues, organs to help regulate body temperature and maintain bodily functions. It also plays an important role in the balance of the ecosystem. And there you have it. Please stay tuned for more discussion about properties of ionic and covalent compounds.